MIPS Creator CI20 released, interesting, though not very useful, by Sebastian Anthony. Imagination Technologies, best known for providing the PowerVR GPUs that power most of Apple's mobile devices, has started selling the Creator CI20 single board computer in Europe and North America. The CI20, priced at a rather exorbitant $65, comes at an odd time, the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B which costs just $35, has a similar hardware spec, and has a better developer ecosystem, was released yesterday. There is one aspect of the CI20 that you might find intriguing, however, it has a MIPS CPU. The Creator CI20 is being pitched by Imagination Technologies as a low-power Android Linux development board, much like the Raspberry Pi. There are builds of Debian, Android 4.4, OpenWRT, and a few other distros that should work on the CI20 out of the box. Hardware-wise, the heart of the beast is in SoC. Produced by Ingenic, a fabulous Chinese semiconductor company. With a dual-core MIPS32 CPU and last-last-generation PowerVR SGX540 GPU, the iPhone 4 had a very similar GPU. Rounding out the specs, there's 1 gigabyte of RAM. 8 GB of onboard NAND storage, a full-size SD card slot, and lots of connectivity, HDMI 1.4, 10 slash 100 Ethernet, 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and a couple of USB ports. For makers developers, there are also a bunch of GPIO, general purpose input output, pins for interfacing with motors, cameras, etc. Overall, the CI20 is generally comparable to the Raspberry Pi, except on price and CPU architecture. MIPS has a bit of cachet from the 80s and 90s, when it was used in some high-profile applications, SGI's workstations, the Nintendo 64. But since the late 90s, the architecture has languished. Imagination Technologies probably seeing an opportunity to compete against ARM and x86 in the mobile and embedded spaces, acquired MIPS technologies in early 2013 and announced a new MIPS-based architecture called Warrior soon after. Sadly, the CI20 doesn't use a new Warrior-based CPU, instead opting for a pretty old MIPS32 release 2 architecture. Other than being able to brag to your friends that you're using a MIPS-based computer, there is no intrinsic benefit of using MIPS over ARM. In fact, given that the CI20 can only run software that's been compiled for MIPS, which is a rather archaic architecture by this point, it may be more of a detriment than anything else. The CI20 is an oddly positioned piece of hardware. Clearly, Imagination Technologies is trying to broaden its reach, but the CI20 at almost twice the price of the Raspberry Pi 2 model being encumbered by an unusual CPU, isn't an overly enticing proposition. At $60, the CI20 should really be up against a BeagleBoard or even the Galileo X86 Arduino. And in both cases, it's not a flattering comparison.